good morning today we are going to see the problems which are on impact so now we are with unit number 6 and we are going to solve the problems related with unit number 6 uh, so to see more number of videos you can go to civil engineers technical hub and in this uh, civil engineers technical hub you have to go to playlist in which you have around 22 videos which are related with your engineering mechanics now if we will go to the syllabus of this engineering mechanics then we have this syllabus now in this we are interested with this part that is direct central impact and coefficient of restriction so now we will go with this so we have two equations which we have to consider in this one equation we have that is conservation of momentum that is momentum before impact equal to momentum after impact momentum before impact equal to momentum after impact momentum after impact so this equation one equation number 1 which we have to use and here we have uh, m1 u1 plus m2 u2 this is initial momentum and m1 v1 plus m2 v2 is final momentum then we have another equation which is e that is coefficient of restriction v2 minus v1 equal upon u1 minus u2 in this this value of e we have one if we have elastic impact now sometimes in examination it is given elastic impact and students are not going to understand what is value of e for e we have value one e equal to zero we have that is plastic impact plastic impact and elastoplastic impact we have value ranges between 0 to 1 now we have another one impact i can say or i can say simplification of this e that is when body impact on fixed surface body impact on fixed surface on fixed surface so in this we have the best example that is ball and we are going to release this ball let us from height h then now let us i will say this will be my initial velocity which is u and i will say i have this final velocity let us u1 i am taking names in this way just try to understand this we have u1 so now this is h1 so now if i will write equation then i have this will be v square equal to u square minus 2 gy and we have this value that is v we have u1 square u we are going to release this is 0 minus 2g now this is initial position this is final position and therefore we will get this value as minus minus h1 and we have u1 square that is equal to 2g h1 and u1 we have root 2g h1 but this velocity is in downward direction and therefore we have u1 is equal to minus root 2 g h now when we have impact of this and after impact this ball will go up so now i will say let us uh, i will draw with another color and let us we will consider this will be along the same line but to understand i will draw it on another side and we have now after impact i have some velocity let us i will say v1 which is initial velocity 
and then so i will i can mention here u equal to u and here i will mention v equal to u1 now i will mention here that is u equal to v1 initial velocity and finally it will go to the maximum height where its velocity becomes zero and i will say this will be v final velocity now which is zero and let i have this distance as h2 then what will happen so we have now this is initial position and this is final position so we have v square equal to u square minus 2gy now we have v0 u we have v1 so v1 square minus 2gy y is h2 and from this we will get therefore v1 square equal to 2g h2 and therefore we have v1 equal to root 2g h2 and now i will uh, simplify this equation of e so we have this will be v2 minus v1 upon u1 minus u2 now we have only one body and another surface is fixed so we have u2 is equal to v2 equal to u2 equal to 0 and our equation becomes minus v1 upon u1 so this equation we have to use for impact with fixed surface impact with fixed surface now we will put values of u1 and v1 so we have e is equal to v1 we have root 2 g h2 here we have minus sign divided by u1 we have minus 2 root 2 g h1 now this 2g 2g gets cancelled minus minus becomes plus and we will have this value as h2 upon h1 and therefore e equal to root h2 upon h1 we can have this in an exam you cannot use this then your answer will be in one line you will not get marks for it so you have to show this and accordingly you have to find the values now we will solve some problems which are from uh, uh, last question papers so most probably we have this question first two questions from 2019 next we have 22 and last we have 23 so now we have this will be i will say m1 i will have this will be u1 collides with m2 car which is at rest so i have u20 now e is given 0.65 and we have to find speed of the cars so now we will go with this initial data so the data given so we have given m1 20 mg u1.4 5 meter per second m2 we have 35 mg u2 we have 0 e is given 0.65 we have two equations two unknowns both equations we have seen we have one equation that is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 these only these two equation you have to solve to solve you have to use to solve problems of impact and second we have v2 minus v1 but keep in mind above we have u v2 minus v1 and below we have u1 minus u2 in some book they have given minus and here v2 minus v1 and below we have u2 minus u1 so that is your choice so you can keep both two first and one afterwards but you have to take minus sign outside so now you can see this. So we have this equation. We have substituted value 20 into 0.5 plus 35 into 0. That is 20 V1 plus 35 V2. This data is mentioned over here. And we will get one equation from this 20 V1 plus 35 V2 equal to 10. You can simplify our keep as it is. We have to put in calculator only. Another equation we have E and we will substitute V2 minus V1 upon U1. U1 we have 0.5 minus zero and from this i will get another equation so now solving these two equations so we have solving equation one and two solving one and two we will get value of v1 minus 0 0.025 meter per second v2.3 meter per second you can if you will draw the diagram then you will understand the problem again on better side so let us we have 
a rail so i can show so let us i will show this will be a rail and then it is moving we have given m1 20 kg and we have given u1 20.5 meter per second this is going on this side and another we have given that is car so we can show in this fashion so draw diagram in exam it becomes easy for you also m235 kg and u20 and then we have this will be our initial condition and then final we will get the values after solving now in this your rail is going in opposite direction. So now rail is going in this direction. Because value is minus. So we have weaving 0 0.025 meter per second. Whenever it is minus, it is towards left. And whenever it is plus and car is going in this direction. So we are in this fashion and it is going in this direction, 0.3 meter per second. Then we have another problem, the velocities of two identical steel blocks. So we have M1 equal to M2 equal to M equal to 0.6 kg. Then we have this will be VA, then this will be VB. So now actually this I will say as UA or UB. This will be UB. So now if we will plot the diagram, so let us, I will plot the diagram. So we have, this will be block A. And it is 0.6 kg, M1 equal to 0.6 kg. And a right word, so it is moving on this side and we have value that is of U1 equal to 4 meter per second. So we have considered these values, you can see over here. Then we have another block with same data, no change. So we have this will be like this. Now M2, we have again same, identical blocks are given 0.6 kg. Moving left word, left word means now I have U2 minus two meter per second, means it is moving towards left. And then we can have this, and they have given, determine the coefficient of restitution between two blocks. But it is given after impact, the velocity of block B means this block. So now we can have this block. So after impact, this is initial condition. Now final condition data is given, the velocity of B towards the right. So this is A, this is B. And then we have velocity of B is again towards the right after impact. So this is M2.6 kg. Now V2 is given 2.5 meter per second and plus because it is give, give, going towards the right. So this data is given and then we have M same. So this M gets cancelled. We need not require to write down value of M because blocks are identical. And we have this equation. We will substitute the values. That is 4 minus because it is towards the left, V1 plus 2.5. And we will get V1 minus 0.5. And that is meter per second. Units are most important. And then we will put value of E and substitute the values. 2.5 minus of minus 0.5. And from this, we will get coefficient of restriction that is equal to 0 0.5. <clears throat> and in this, if you will try to plot this value of block A, then you can have this block A, but it is moving towards the left. And this is 0.5 meter per second. Then we have third example, ball A of 20 Newton. So now it is given, weight is given, and we have to convert it into mass. And we know mass equal to weight upon 9.81. And that we have to put over here. So now if we will draw the diagram, then you can see this ball A we have over here, and then this is given MA we have 20 upon 9.81 and <clears throat> 6 meter per second towards right. So plus UA, 6 meter per second and collides with ball B. So we have this ball B with 10 upon 9.81. And we have initial velocity leftward 
So minus eight meter per second means it is going towards the left. And this is the initial condition and they have given value of E that is equal to 0.6. So this data is written over here. <clears throat> so UB you can say minus eight meter per second and then we will write the equation and we will substitute values in the equation. You can see this. So 9.81, do not calculate the, you can cancel 9.81, you can cancel the zero and then you can have six twos are 12. 1 minus 8 minus 8 and that is equal to 2VA plus VB and from this we will get 2VA VA plus VB equal to 4. This is equation 1. Then we have that equation of coefficient of restriction, substitute values and by this we will get another equation and then solving this equation 1 and 2. So I can write solving equations 1 and 2. Solving 1 and 2, we will get value of VA minus 1.47 and VB 6.93 meter per second. Then we can have next a ball of mass 1 kg moving with a velocity 2 meters per second. So ball given mass M1 is given 1 kg. Velocity is given U1 2 meters per second positive. So on this side, directly on a ball B. Now we have another ball. We have M2, 2 kg, which is at rest. So I have U2 is equal to zero. The first ball after impending comes to rest. So means if I will, this is initial condition, then I will plot final condition. What is given? So ball one, so here I have M1 equal to one kg, but my V1 is equal to zero. And we are interested to find value of V2. So V2 we have to find out and M2 is given. And E also we have to find. So two equations, two unknown. So these values are given. So M1, 1 kg is given V1, 0. So we will substitute in this. And in this we will get this 2, 2 equal to 2 V2. You can see if we will write over here, so we have 2 equal to 2 V2. And from this, we will get value of V2 is 1 meter per second. And then we will put it in E. And from this, we will get 1 by 2, 0 0.5. So if we will see V2 1 meter per second, means it is moving towards right. And V2 is 1 meter per second. Then we have next, that is disk A has a mass of 2 kg. Again, if you draw the diagram, then you will not commit mistake in science. So we have this will be M A 2 kg. Then with a velocity 5 meter per second, U A 5, 5 meter per second. Uh, 4 kg disk, another disk we have 4 kg. So M B 4 kg and it is moving with velocity 2 meters per second towards A. So U B minus 2 meter per second because it is moving towards A and it is moving towards B. And this is 2 meter per second and this is 5 meter per second. And then E is given 0 0.4 and we have to find both velocity, velocities of both body after impact. So you can have this. So now we will use M1, U1 and substituting these values. So we have, therefore I will write, so 10 minus eight equal to two VA plus four VB. And from this we will get equation two VA plus four VB equal to two. Dividing by two VA plus two VB one. And then another equation we will get from this so we u1 is 5 and v u2 is minus 2 and from this we will get another equation and solving equation 1 and 2 solving 1 and 2 we will get value of v1 minus 1.53 so you can plot it so i can have this va so it is minus so that means going on this side 1.53 meter per second this is body A and body B we have plus, that's, that means it is going towards the right 1.27 meter per second. Then I already shown you the 
uh, impact uh, of uh, body on fixed surface. So now what is given, you can see this. So we have this as given as two meters. Now we have initial velocity, we have zero. And we have to find this velocity, which is final velocity, which is before impact. So I will write U well. And we will get it as, now you can see this, I have mentioned over here. So we have V is equal to root 2 GH. Because if we will write equation, V square equal to U square minus 2 G by. And it is initial condition, initial position, final position. And we have Y as minus. And therefore, we will get V equal to root 2 GH. And this I will mention it as U1 and in bracket minus because it is in downward direction. 2 into 9.81 into 2. That is written over here. So you can see minus because it is in downward direction. And we will have this value minus 62 meter per second. After impact, so whatever velocity you have, then that velocity we are going to say as v and that i will say as initial initial velocity at this point which will be final velocity after impact and ball will go till this and here my velocity which is final becomes zero and again here we have this will be 1.2 meters and then solving this we will get value of v and now if we will use equation of E, from this I will get coefficient of restituent 0.77. So uh, if we will solve this properly, then you can have this, you can check it, your value should be H2 upon H. And that will be plus. Coefficient of restitution never been minus. So likewise, we have to go for the problems that is related with your impact. So now we will stop here only. Remaining part we will see in the next video. Thank you.